doesn't have quite the uh, the facial hair going on. Junior Lake with a check swing on DeGrom's first pitch and Campbell handles it for the first out. That pitcher's walked eight last night. It's been one factor, which is never a place you want to be. Ruggiano who spent about a month on the one run games this season before this series. No two from DeGrom and he misses outside. Well the first night was a gift. Three straight extra Both teams, but the Cubs bullpen set it right. And that's a little bit low in a full count to Ruggiano. That's been their weakness. 3-2. And Ruggiano takes outside ball four. So after DeGrom got ahead of him 0-2, he loses Ruggiano. 1991. The ill-fated Brian Taylor has a call strike to Rizzo. Bat and one on. And DeGrom goes away. Quite a while to be able to establish himself. And he carried that right into the show. Swing and a miss, and Rizzo down on the high fastball. DeGrom has his first strikeout, two away. Here's Darling Castro with two out and a runner on. But I, I, I give the Mets a lot of credit for what they've down in A ball and below. Call strike to Castro in its own two. DeGrom ahead 0 and 2. The runner goes. Castro drives one to deep center, but it's playable. And there is Young to pick it off for the out. So a walk and one left for DeGrom in the opening inning. Most of them, though, have been since torn down. But this one, Fenway, the oldest park, is right downtown. Downtown Boston. Game th uh, three or four, I'm not sure. Good chance. In Fenway before. <laughs> <laughs> Way to toward left center. Young racing over, reaching, but he can't make the play. Backed up nicely by Brown, heading for second, Valbuena, and he dives in with a double. And it takes a fastball. Nice. No two to Shearholtz, and Brown comes up and in, one and two. Nobody enforces it. Check swing on the slider. They're trailing again tonight in the ninth, though. And you know the Phillies. 3 2. And Sherholtz takes it wide. Ball four. So the drum has now walked a pair. Howard Barney is first start of the series. And he swings and misses at a fastball. Curve ball could be two. Tejada with the flip. Floor is the turn. Not in oh, time. That's close. Let's that's play it. it first. And we'll see if Terry Collins comes out. He does. Make it a challenge. Tim Timmons made the call at first. So first and third one out. Eli Whiteside his first big league at bat in down the line at first. And Whiteside gets one out to left field. That should get the run in. Valbuena tagging at third. As Brown makes the grab. No. Valbuena coming home. The throw and Darno with the tag. He got him. Great throw, Andrew Brown. On the fly to home plate. And now Rick Renteria right here. He's got a gripe. He's under the. T they're not going to overturn that. I don't know. They've got a decision. Safe. So yep. they overturn the call, and the Cubs take a one nothing lead. Seven home runs in his career, and he hits this one in the air to deep left center field. Back goes Brown near the wall, and it's out of here. Travis Wood with his second home run of the year, the eighth of his career, and the Cubs have a three nothing lead. Wow. Well. Home run ball has hurt DeGrom early in his career. Gave up the home run to Ryan Howard his last time, and this time Travis wants the Mets not just one run, but three. And now Junior Lake thinking about a brunt. Eight home run. He's got great athletic ability. Lake hits one well out to right center. But this one is playable. Granderson has it at the edge of the warning track. So the Mets don't challenge. The Cubs do. Cubs get the benefit. Wood hits a home. I hated that mount. Absolutely hated that mount for a number of reasons. Number one, it was flat. Guaranteed, I'd have a bloody big left toe because there was always a hole right by the rubber. And every time, it wasn't his favorite place to play, but I guess uh, in 1969, it was every Mets' favorite place. Right, guys? Uh, the, the Mets, they all complained about 
how low the mound was that they couldn't get that uh, drive off the rubber. And I think it was primarily what I understood. You guys, Jerry said something very interesting too. He thought, obviously, the Cubs that year it contributed to the fact that they wore down at the end of the year. Interesting take. Well, they're getting to bed early, then all of a sudden they got to go play night games. Rizzo on a no 2 pitch pokes the change up into center field. And he's got himself a one out hit. They're hit against DeGrom. Well, Leo DeRocher, who was the manager of those 16. Good ball club. Yes, he was. Uh, Williams. Uh, Billy Williams. Center his first time up. By the way, we showed those stats by, by Jerry here. Here's the thing about Saber and Kuzman. They were put two away. High school? Uh, college. Okay. And he walks. So there you go. Third walk given up by DeGrom, who's not having his best night by any means. Well, you know what's. And he pulls one foul. For three times. That becomes an issue. Full thumbs up and opted not to challenge. Popped up back this way. So Sosa do that too. Cracked to left field. And there's Brown. And that's the second out. So Buena retired to run. That was when King. And sure holds lifts one into shallow right center. Granderson there. Side retired. So the Cubs strand two in the third. On we go to the fourth in a ball at Savannah. Building from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. And I agree. Driven down the left field line by Darwin Barney. And it's going to go by Brown and back into the well. And it disappears in the Ivy or does it? No, the umpire says it is still in play, but Barney stops at second base anyway. You can't. Since the DH began, Dontrell Willis, 0 2 to Whiteside. And he grounds one to short, trying to advance as Barney. He will have a good break. And as Tejada throws out Whiteside, now run to a third with one out. Well, I'll tell you what, speed kills. And he hits this one toward the middle. Tejada's got it, firing home. The tag by Darno. He's safe. Four nothing, Chicago. I don't know what to tell you. And that is a decade. Blake fouls off the curb off the match would have been safe. <laughs> With no for two tonight. And he pops one up. Flores is there. And that's the second out. TV? <laughs> it's all my strikeouts. <laughs> Somebody with some video equipment, that's for sure. Virgiano pops it a mile high. Flores and Campbell looking for it, and Flores makes the grab to retire the side. Facebook.com slash SNY. We're going to run in the fourth as well. We're going to run in the fourth as well. In a game. Gets it on the hands of Rizzo, and he pops him up. And Tejada's got it one out. DeGrom had thrown four consecutive quality starts to begin. Thousand Marlins. And then you got to go way back. Mm -hmm. Fred Anderson. Quality start. Yeah, right. It certainly wasn't six innings and in three. Castro's flying out and walked 0 for 1, and there's the curveball. DiMaggio. Castro hits it out to right, and Granderson's there. He was very cr critical of DiMaggio when Joe came up and then. Two out. Here's Valbuena, who's doubled and flied out. One for Very composed. Three runs. Was strike three and one. He, he impressive how he stays low in the strike zone. Three and two to Valbuena. Fouls off the fastball. Kev. I didn't see Andre Dawson in there though, boys. <laughs> Slicing away from Young, and that's going to land for a base hit. Valbuena takes a wide turn, make, goes into a slide, and scrambles on back. However, if you uh, if the batter's on, one one to Sherholtz. 
Down the left side and out. One two to Sherholtz. And he pops one up. Terrific. I can't think of his name. It's a Latin fellow, I believe. Swing and a miss. DeGrom gets Sherholtz to end the inning. Third strikeout for Jacob DeGrom. 